hey guys welcome back to another video so we have a interview question that revolves around your order of execution the question is that we have a before save flow right and in that flow we uh, generally have a async path in that flow right so uh, according to the order of execution when will that async path run right so let's understand first about uh, the order of execution so that we could better answer this question so or order of execution starts when uh, it loads up the original values from the database whereas the values that we are gonna insert in that database so override operation performs in here and it first checks for the system validations right so system validations uh, is classic example would be like it checks for the length whether that particular field uh, uh, exceeds the length or not right so that in all comes in their system validations thereafter first it runs your before save flows then it would run your before trigger so flow runs before your before triggers understood again it would run one set of system validations and custom validation rules okay thereafter our duplicate rules would kick in and ideally this is correct because it would check only duplicates once um, the previous processes have been done if if you found any duplicate rules it would stop your execution but if any duplicate is not found then our data is saved to the database data here is the record so our record would be saved to the database okay it won't be committed until now okay thereafter when our record gets saved to the database it executes the after triggers when after triggers runs then assignment auto response and escalation rules work if there are any workflow field updates it would happen if they are not then assignment auto response and direct escalation rules would fire thereafter it would execute some flow automations like uh, flows launched by processes or other things it would fire else what it do is after save record triggered flow will fire in here so what we can see is first your after trigger works then your after uh, save record triggered uh, flow works so while remembering also what you can see is first your before flows then your before triggers starts then your after trigger starts then your after flow starts so uh, first uh, starts with flow trigger trigger flow so you can just remember that way also that is again a easy way of uh, remembering these things right once your after say flow runs we just run entitlement rules and if there are any roll up summary fields on that particular object where you are doing some changes then the roll up summary calculations would kick in right and the criteria based sharing rules would fire now at this point it would commit all the things to the database and after this your post commit activity what could be in the post commit activity is like the sending emails your outbound messages asynchronous apex or the async path in the record triggers flows that we have it runs after your record has been saved to the committed to the database so it runs at the end so the answer to the question here is that it would run at the end it would won't run um, during the start when the flow is involved so that is the thing i hope you guys got to know uh, uh, about the order of execution and your revision happens in this way if you feel any doubts do let me know in the comments